Hey everybody, it's Coach Lance from OnlineHockeyTraining.com. And look who's back, fan favorite Willie, and he's here to help me show you how hockey players train off ice doing a little stick handling and shooting. You ready to begin? Yep. Let's do this. The majority of the drills you'll see in Willie's 60 minute lesson are from the Accelerator Flight Number 3. The first drill is warming up his hands with the front fake combo. The song he's singing in his head is 1-2 fake wide, bring it back to the furthest line. He was hitting his marks, so now I'm talking to him about exaggerating the fake so it becomes a full body movement. Next, it's time to work on shooting between the legs. I first go over with him the path the puck has to travel and what happens with the hands. Once he gets that down, I make a pass that he receives in line with his right foot, fakes over to the other foot, moves the puck to the backhand side as he steps sideways, stopping the puck in the toe of the blade, pulls it between his legs and snaps it to the net. This one takes a bit to figure out, but once you do, you'll be getting it top shelf before you know it. From there, make the goalie believe you're going to shoot from between the legs, but at the last second, push the puck forward and hammer a backhander towards the net. Time to add some movement. He'll be dribbling 1-2 back and forth over the yellow line, move the puck to the other side and repeat shuffling forward, and each trip to the net with a backhand or forehand shot. What we do forward, we'll also do backward. 1-2 dribble back and forth over the yellow line, across to the other side and repeat Heat shuffling backward. Finish each rep with a backhand or forehand shot. After a quick water break, we moved over to doing slip unders. First slide the puck to an area on the other side of the stick and then pull the stick through the bottom hand so you avoid the shaft. Receive it on the other side and then repeat. Then I'll give him a pass on the forehand. He does a quick fake to the backhand, pushes the puck out to the forehand, does the forehand slip under and finishes up with a backhand shot. Then we moved over to the other side, receive the pass, fake, Backhand slip under, forehand shot. Man, Willie's on fire. From there, we transition to easy cupping on the backhand. The yellow line is his home base. Easy cup around each orange puck and snap it back across the yellow line and repeat moving forward. End each round with a backhand shot. After a few rounds, I moved him over to the other side, easy cupping with the forehand, underneath and around the top of each orange puck, snapping it back across the yellow line and repeat shuffling forward. He finishes up with forehand shots. We progressed to doing the same easy cupping drill, but now backwards. Yellow line is the home base, cup underneath each orange puck, around the top, and snap it back at a downward angle. We did this a few times on each side of the orange pucks, so he's working on both forehand and backhand cupping. As usual, end each run with forehand and backhand shots. Shots. From there we moved over to some opposite hand figure eights. That's right, he's actually a lefty. I had him do a couple rounds with the opposite hand and then switch back to the regular hand. He said that the regular hand was so easy now. And then, this is totally willy, always doing a little extra. Single hand figure eights? Awesome. You're on a breakaway. You get tripped up. Can you still make the shot? That's what we're working on here. I eliminate the lower body, increasing the shot difficulty, and it forces players to shoot more aggressively. For backhand shots, I have to step on the mat so his body doesn't turn sideways and it's his shoulders that are turning. The last drill Willie wanted to do was a little tramp shooting. I don't know why, because it's hard. I guess he dislikes pushing himself to the limit. He starts bouncing on one foot and continues to do so until all five shots are taken. Switch over to the other foot for five more. Then we move over to the backhand side. This is extremely difficult and very uncomfortable, but that's why we love it, for the challenge of conquering it. As always, awesome effort. This guy right here, he just got a little better. And that's how it works, ladies and gentlemen. Week by week, month by month, year by year, you chip away at it. And if you stick with it long enough, you're gonna wake up one day and say to yourself, holy cow, I'm pretty good. That's the journey this guy's on. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time.